Hello and welcome back to Tutoring with Gavin. In this series of videos, I've been exploring how to produce a Grade 9 narrative or descriptive piece of writing for the GCSE English Language Exam. In this video, I'll be providing six top tips that will help you expand and develop your vocabulary so that you will not only understand more words, but you will also have a wider vocabulary when writing descriptive or narrative pieces. One of the easiest ways to improve your existing writing skills is to add new words to your written vocabulary. All forms of the written word, from fiction to journalism to essay writing to poetry, benefit from a strong vocabulary. Improving your vocabulary is investing in a skill that will improve your grades in all subjects by using a sophisticated range of words with imaginative and powerful effect. Don't worry about running out of words in the English language. There are more than a million words in total. About 170,000 words are in current use and 20,000 to 30,000 words are used by each individual person. The wider your range of vocabulary, the better you become at describing specific settings, emotions and ideas. Instead of struggling to express your ideas, you can begin painting with words. Here are my six top tips. Number one, develop a reading habit. Expanding your vocabulary is easiest when you encounter words in context. Reading words in a novel or a newspaper article is far more helpful than seeing them appear on vocabulary lists. Not only do you gain exposure to unfamiliar words, you also see how they're used. Try to find three words you've never used from each thing you read and create a glossary of words. This could be on a Google Doc, which would allow you to put the definition, synonyms, and other words in that word family. For example, the word lamentable is an adjective that describes something so bad that you feel disappointed or angry. Synonyms for this could include annoying, irritating, deplorable, or infuriating. It can also be used as a noun, a passionate expression of grief or sorrow or a complaint. And as a verb, it can be used to express grief, regret, or disappointment about something. Number two, use the dictionary and thesaurus. Online dictionaries and thesauruses are really helpful resources that can help expand your repertoire of words. Just by searching synonyms, you will open up a whole new world of words that you never knew existed. These programs also help you understand the type of words and how they can be adapted for different purposes. Number three, play word games. Classic games like Scrabble or Boggle are a fun way to expand your English vocabulary. Number four, use flashcards. A quick way to build a large vocabulary is to study a number of words using flashcards. There are online flashcard apps like Quizlet, Brainscape, and Anki app. Number five, sign up or subscribe to vocabulary websites like merriamwebster.com, which provides you with the word of the day or other free websites like vocabulary.com, which has useful activities to help develop your vocabulary. And number six, practice using new words in your writing. Set yourself the challenge of using 10 words you have never used before in a piece of descriptive or narrative writing. Well, I hope this has helped in your revision. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel to get further notification of useful videos that will help you get a great grade. Until next time.